3, 2, action. Bueno, 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 bueno. Hey, buenos dias. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the number one podcast in the Galactic Universe of Ultron. My name is Saul Gomez. My name is Rex. My name is Hans Asky. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? I hope you guys, guys everybody's doing? having a good day. You're all beautiful. Keep your head up and just don't give up, okay? Just don't give up. And always remember to be yourself. And beat your meat. Damn. Yeah. Sure. I like that. I like that. I like be that. yourself and be your me. And don't be like Hans. And don't be like Vic. Bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Let's yeah. get it. Let's hey. Go. Hey. Hey. Yeah. hey. Bitch ah, ass motherfucker. Shit. Damn. Hey. I didn't even know we're shooting. Right? I just wanted to shoot it All real right. quick. We gon' we gon' we gon' oh, what the fuck is wrong with this shit? Sorry. All right. We're back. Back at it again with the white vans. With the white vans. You guys ready for the first caller? Oh, by the way, hey, Patreon. Hey. Patreon giveaway is live now for your chance to win $400. Go on and go check out us on Patreon, patreon.com slash bueno bueno for your chance to win 400 bucks. Winner will be announced. When should we announce it next week? Next week, uh, next week. Yeah, Dia de los yeah. Madres. That'll, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. Give your mom maybe, something yeah, nice. Maybe you can yeah, win yeah, it. Give your mom or something nice. maybe you can win it yourself. Maybe you're a mother yourself. Uh-huh. And, and we you give your Mother's Day gift. Yeah, you know, yeah, $400. Yeah. Bucks. Okay, winner will be announced next week. Next episode, we'll announce the winner. So uh, go check out Patreon right now. Yeah, right now. All right, let's get our first caller. You yeah. guys ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Baby, la nota ya está haciendo efecto. Mi mundo está odido y me siento perfecto. Porque está tú. That's pretty low, to be honest, babe. That's better. Hello there. Oh, oh shit. Bueno, my bueno, bueno. bueno. No, I just remember I forgot to block my phone number. That's what I was going to tell you. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, I, I saw was, that. <laughs> I was like, literally, as soon as you answered, I was like, ah. Oh. But fuck it. Damn. Leak it. I, I guess. had a feeling it was you guys. Damn. What's up? How you doing? How <laughs> Good you morning. Doing? <laughs> good afternoon. Hey, Queen. Hey, Queen. Hi. How are you? Hi. How you I'm doing? good. You? Good. You well, now that you <laughs> ask, you know, it's, just, it's been a hard week for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just it's been really, so stressed. It's just, it's just so sad. I've dude. been getting trolled all week. I'm just so sad. Like, these motherfuckers just keep coming at me. But how are you doing? I'm good. You, you know, do you that's have, what I sent you guys. <laughs> <laughs> do you have time to talk to us? I do. Ready? All right, here we go. So you said, ready? Yep. <laughs> yes. You said, y'all, I have an issue. First off, said it before and I'll say it again. Love the pod. But on some real shit, I caught feelings from my friends with benefits because the connection is there. And I was wondering what your thoughts are on how to get a guy to flip the switch on dating you seriously. Don't know if it's possible, mm-hmm. but I'd like to hear y'all cook on this one. Much love. Can you switch the script and get a friends with benefits to like you? I think that's the question. Yeah, right? that's cool. Okay. Go. All right. Okay. So can you make a friends with benefits fall in love with you? Yeah. Cause I mean, like, last year like we hooked up on the regular for like about two months and like we were cool and he was giving off like relationship vibe Mm -hmm. um and now like we're we're cool like we're just friends now but and it's like cool whenever we see each other again but at the same time it's just i just wonder if it's like even a possibility to have like that uh, change into something yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you one thing guys will do the most for the cheeks like, yeah yeah guys they'll take will, you to disneyland guys will take you to they don't give a fuck yeah, to spend yeah. money on you i know that sounds mean but like for guys will do anything for the cheeks literally yeah, they'll, yeah, they'll yeah. act like you're they'll say anything they're in for love the with you just just to get some yeah yeah and well, i mean yeah, i once i once had I mean, a girlfriend just for the I've, cheeks yeah well, because I mean, I've dated people in the past, and like I've had a friends with benefits with other people, but it's like different between me and this person because it's just I say it's different because the the values are the same, like the connection is there. Like when we're there, like we're talking. It feels like just yesterday we talked, mm-hmm. um, and that's the only reason why I say like, is it possible to get a guy to flip the switch? Only because like he says he's not in it with me, and I have a feeling I know why. Um, but I'm just wondering if like what would make a guy like want to flip the switch on you gotcha so when you guys talk is it do you guys ever just talk just to talk or does it always lead up to something sexual no like we just talk to talk and then Mm. sometimes like it'll lead up 
okay. to a sex, but it's not always just sex because I've hung out with him and we haven't done it. And, mm, and there's other times friend. where we're, oh, wow. we do it. So it's just kind of one of those things where it's just like, is it serious? Is it not serious? This, like this he says he doesn't friend? want anything. I mean, he's not my best friend, but like we'll hang out like, because the last time I talked to him was on Wednesday, but the time before that, it hadn't been until January. So I don't know. Mm. I, it just, it's kind of hard to say because like, the days you don't have sex with them, maybe he didn't want to have sex. I mean, I don't know how much I'm pushing in your head, but no, like, you know, it, sometimes well, you probably okay. have sex with somebody else. Type well, shit. no, like, so, I'm, I'm so I'll give you, like, in a, I'll give you an example. So, like, last year, like, it was, like, October, November, we were, like, talking to each other, like, consistently, and then we would have, like, sex afterwards. But then, like, after that, he was just like, oh, I don't want to do it anymore because I don't want to feel like a hoe. And I was just like, okay. So then mm. I, then we talk and then we'd still meet up with each other for like from like december to january we were just like talking and i'd go out there and we wouldn't do anything we would just hang out so I was just like, okay. we would like but the dates like stopped like in november uh. but when we were like hanging out in december january like we would just hang out like as friends like like a male female just friendship almost mm. and i was just kind of like like, what are we doing here? Because it it started off as a friend's benefits and that's what I wanted it to be. But then when he started giving off the relationship vibes and he thought that I was like catching on, like catching feelings for him, he like started pulling away. Mm. So then we just started hanging out as like just normal friends. And it was kind of like just weird after that, just hanging out. And then we just didn't talk to each other for like a couple of months afterwards. And then we rekindled like a friendship sometime over in like this month, actually. So like the other day we just, talked again normal but then mm. we clap cheeks afterwards <laughs> wait and have you told them this how you feel have you guys had I this have, conversation well we've had the conversation like because ba back in november when he like started pulling away i was just like i i'm like i'd be open to a relationship with you um because like it feels like that's what you you're giving off right now he's like but he's like i told you from the beginning like that's not what i wanted even though you know what? That's what it would end up being. He sounds like he's indecisive and he yeah. can't decide. He keeps looking from left to right. Mm. And he seems like the type to fall in love and leave you. Because I think, and what is it like? Left at the Because he had told me, because he told me when we had first met, <laughs> he had told me that when we first met in um, October, no, September. When we first met in September, um, that he had just gotten out of a relationship six months prior. Six months is a long time. Yeah. And then it sounded like he didn't, he wasn't ready for one back then. Um, I don't know if he's ready for one right I got, now. I got a question. I think we, we got to face the music. Earlier, you said, and I think he does seem, it seems like he doesn't want a relationship and I know why, but you didn't tell us why. Why do you think he doesn't want one? Because I had told him I don't want kids. Mm, mm, there it is. God damn, why? Why don't? Yeah, why, don't, can, why don't you want kids? Uh, the reason why I don't is because I just would rather not. Yeah, I feel that. I yeah, so that's just, that's, just, that's just me. I mean, like, not, he's the only person who made me reconsider wanting that. Ooh. Yeah. Because it's like that good of a connection with him how old is that guy he's 27 i'm 23 mm, that's mm, maybe it can be an age thing i'm not gonna lie um well actually it's not this one's a little bit so, i mean she's young so no shit she's gonna say that yeah like for me there's this girl you sound like some girl that i used to talk to a long time ago and she wanted a relationship and I didn't. My main thing was just because she was too young. She was I like, "I thought you were gonna say that she wanted a kid, uh, that you wanted kids, and she didn't." That would be wild. But uh, no, yeah, she was just too young. And mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like I don't. I think that might be a thing. Your frontal lobe is your frontal for what is it? Cortex lobe or whatever. It's not developed yet. I I, I guess <laughs> I I think like yeah I think that might be the problem where like you told him that you didn't want kids so he kind of already checked out. No, nah, like, I don't think like, so, bro. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's twenty seven. Twenty seven is older. Is he a family so. man? Yeah, he is. 
truck. The best way to put it, he's like a rancher boy. I knew it. I was going to say, does he drive a pickup truck? No. Oh, never mind. Rex, you're going to tell me you're at the age you are right now, 28, and then like let's say your your wife was 23, and she would have told you, I don't want to have kids ever or whatever. Like, Aren't you going to be like, what the fuck? What am I doing? Waste my time. I'm 28. Aren't you going to want to? Because I told him. I was just, dip? I told him. I'm like, maybe like girl, when though. I'm 28. I know, I said, when, I'm maybe when I'm 28, I could yeah. reconsider that. But yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm too young right now to like sure. even have that. That dude's pretty young too. He's 27. He can have kids when he's 30. I mean, yeah, of course. But it's just kind of one of those things where he's starting to like date seriously, he said. Mm. Um, and, and you still want to fuck around. No, no, she's. I mean, she wants I, to get I, 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 no, I want to be serious yeah. with somebody. But once he gets serious, you know there's certain things that you got to do for it's like the kids. Yeah. So you can't really I say that, but I, can't, I don't want to do it, but I want to do it. But then again, she doesn't have but to have kids right it. now. Like she doesn't yeah. want. No, no, to. I'm not saying that as far as, but it's something that she maybe has later to, down the road. Yeah, if she doesn't not want to. She just leave this man alone. Yeah. Cause I think about it this way: What if? Because I've met people who don't believe in marriage. I believe in marriage. What if I meet a girl that I really like and uh, she tells me she doesn't believe in marriage and she doesn't want to get married? And I'm like, well, then I don't know why we're dating. Exactly. Yeah, look, yeah, why, would you, yeah why would you waste your time? Yeah, yeah I don't blame the guy. So if it might just be that. And you know what? And that's you don't you don't have to like don't change your values or beliefs for anybody. And if she it, will. But like if she, right now, even though right now you're still young, maybe you're, you're going to your perspective will change later on. Yeah. But yeah. um. Do you do you, you just don't see yourself with kids ever? I, it's not that I don't see myself with kids ever. It's just kind of like one of those things where I'm just like I'd rather not be pregnant. So like yeah, that's yeah. just something I'm considering right kids. now. Yeah. So it's just like and also just like the state of our world and everything like that. That's what I also keep in mind as well when I'm wanting to have kids. Um, but I'm also too young right now to yeah, even have sure. that conversation, especially when I'm not even in a relationship with anybody. Yeah, so. and that guy seems like he's just yeah. gonna like just yeah, trap you, to be honest. That's the shit that gets me confused. Like, why the fuck is he talking about kids? He's like, you're not even his girl. Yeah, I know. So that's the thing. Like, I it, it was just a conversation that had been brought up, and I was just like, "What is it?" I'm like, "I'm I don't want kids." And then it was just like he said he wanted it, and I think that's why he had checked out. Mm. All right. Well, leave him alone then, because yeah. if you keep messing with this guy, he'll trap you. I feel like um, if you, well, uh, it's kind of one. It's one of those things where like, I would not buy, mind being in a relationship with him. It's just kind of one of those things where it's like, how would you? How do you guys see it in terms of like this even flipping a switch? If well, that was even a possibility. The thing is, the thing is, what Rex said, like it's true. Like let's say you do fuck with him, and you guys do end mm -hmm. up dating, and you love each other. This man can literally like get you pregnant, and like there's, I mean, there's something you can do about it, but like that's like up to you on how you're gonna respond. Like either you're gonna fucking hate this man and neglect him for the like the rest of your life, or option B, you're gonna be like, all right, well, fuck it, I'm pregnant, and now we raise yeah. the fucking kids. And also, that. not to be toxic, but mm -hmm. men they put women in categories, right? There is, yeah. especially Rex. Rex is the one that told me about this one, so. Well, number one first show <laughs> you want to start i'll start it. let's go be toxic yeah, and i'm gonna kidding. be toxic go. no i'm just kidding <laughs> so i so i feel like once you're categorized as a friends with benefits it's i don't think you yeah. can leave that i don't okay i don't think so because i i'm trying to think back to my friends with benefits and like i was like i don't i, I would i would never date my friends with i don't benefits. think I, I don't think there's one friends with benefits that i've had that i would date that's what I'm trying to go back and think It's because it is, it's true. It is, there is a category. There is yeah. like the girl. It's I like, know it sounds mean, but there's a girl that you'd wife up. There's yeah. a girl that you just fuck. Yeah, there's a girl you wife up. There's a girl you fuck. There's a girl you like not, like to take out on dates. Yeah, just like, just casual dates. Yeah, yeah. Like friends. Uh, but can you make that transition over? I don't Oof. know. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. Because I mean, I've never been in that. I've never been in that position. I, I've, I'm really trying to think what girl... I don't know. I know. What you're... It doesn't even have to be just a girl. It's like, what would make you guys want to flip the switch on a girl? What would make it? I think <sighs> that's a that's a loaded question. That is because it, it's, it's ever... really it's <laughs> it's just very. It just depends on the person. I don't think you ever flip the 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 switch. Because usually, if I really like a girl, I'm fucking mm -hmm. scared to have sex with her. Like I'm scared to like I'm nervous to ask because I don't want her to get the ick. You get me. So yeah. I'm just like, I want to be super respectful. 
so if i'm if i'm if i'm just hitting you up like hey let's fuck like i don't respect you mm. i think it also might be because of That's the fact true. that we're like very similar personality too and i'm i'm kind of more of an outgoing person i give off like mm. more alpha female energy so do you guys have the same rising moon she got me hot. She just got me I just learned about hot. that. I just learned about that. Uh, I don't know what his rising is. <laughs> and I don't know what his moon is. I just But I do know what his sign is. What's his sign? His sign's a Taurus. Fucking taco. What's a Taurus? I I'm trying to think of who's a Taurus that I know. <laughs> I don't even know. Caesar. Caesar's a Taurus? Oh yeah, there's no way you're gonna cuff him up. It's right. Caesar is Taurus. Caesar's a Taurus. He's not like Caesar. <laughs> mm-hmm. And she called Caesar Pimp Squeak. <laughs> Oh, yeah, honestly, this is tough. I think it's just oh, the conversation. Honestly, it just goes to the conversation. That, but that is a great question. And people down below in the comments, let us know if you've ever turned a friends with benefits into uh, into your partner. Let us know. I'm very curious. I mean, I think it's po definitely possible. It just takes the right person because you know people do change. Because I feel like you know Saul, you see, he used to be a slut, but now he's like he's he's calm, he's chill. You know what I'm saying? Like he's ready to get married, but he just can't find the one for sure. The show okay. <laughs> but uh yeah it's, it's tough i just have that conversation with him tough conversations what you want is behind the door you don't want to open that's crazy i joke <sighs> so yeah yeah i don't know but yeah I think, you, you got yeah. a stumped you got a stumped yeah you did it good job you, yeah. you stumped us we couldn't cook on this one we couldn't cook <laughs> well thanks for answering no, she's like thanks up. for nothing yeah or, yeah i mean it it is what it is. Like, if there's no answers, there's no answers. I know it's like, like all... It's life. Like, you want my honesty? Like, you're going to yeah. get pregnant next year. Call it out. You guys going to end up dating this year and you're going to get pregnant next year. Damn. Okay. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> but um, before you go, we want to let you know, go use code bueno at tesalud.com for 10% off. You heard it here first. <laughs> heard it here first. Heard it here first. I will have a good rest of your day. Appreciate you okay. for calling in. Um, feel free to save my number and call me for any advice you need. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> Thank not. You guys. Whatever. Got you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> You're gonna be the next. Um. Let me block this. Yeah, block it. Huh? Yeah, I honestly, bro, I don't know. Like, if you're like friends with benefits, cause I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm gonna be honest with you. We all have that girl that's like, oh, I'm fuck, I just want to fuck her, right? Mm -hmm. And then that girl's like, man, I want to marry her. Yeah, yeah. Like 100%. that shit does not change. Like you're not gonna fuck. I know it sounds mean, but it goes both ways for guys and girls. It's like I'm not gonna marry a hoe. Mm -hmm. But not even a hoe. Like a friends with benefits doesn't have to be a hoe. Mm. Usually a friends with benefits A friends with benefits Is not only fucking you She's fucking other nah, yeah. nah 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 Uh uh uh, -uh. You're delusional buddy Me You're delusional Me Sure I only Get fuck boy. I only fuck one One person at a time I'm seasonal I, I don't be double dipping That's okay, nasty Nah I think Hans is cooking on this nah. one Nah Sure boy Yeah brother A friend <laughs> Yeah brother A friends with benefits is Smashing other people Yes Yes No. -uh. You don't think you Bro they get booked <laughs> they get overbooked on the week. That's a crazy statement right there. Trust. They get booked. I've seen it by yes, my own silly. eyes. They get booked. Silly. You're f <sighs> I don't know. That's, I guess that's just not me. <laughs> Imagine your homie calls you that. Yes, silly. silly yes, but silly. no duh. No duh, silly. No duh, silly. I guess. Mm. All right, let us know what you guys. This was a good one. Let us know down in the comments down below. She's you? getting pregnant. I don't care. Well, the joke's landing nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, but then that's two signs. So what? Signs. For sure. Hello? Bueno, bueno, bueno. 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 <gasps> no way. Yes, way. Yes. Hey, no. hey, let's get it. I, I, I just I, sent I, the I. message like a couple of days ago. <laughs> yep, you submitted it at 4.30.24 at 12.41 p.m. Wow. And your IP address is 4222-9749 from Kansas City, Oklahoma. What the fuck? Damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was just reading. I was like, I don't know from there. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm playing. How you doing? Good. Oh my god! I can't believe you guys called me. Yeah, I can't believe you answered. We're yeah, so thankful. We thankful for your like, time. I, we could have been your toxic ex. Yeah, and you hey. answered us. I never answer numbers I don't know, and I said no caller, and I was just like, I was thinking about you guys, but I did not mm. expect that at all. I thought it was gonna be a scammer or something. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Why you laugh like that? You were the one that they just laughed. Yeah, like that was you, bro. <laughs> but do you have time to talk to us right now? 
Uh, yes, I do. Cute. <laughs> So you said, guys, I need dating advice. I'm 33 and don't know what to do. Dating apps are lame and no one shows interest. I don't know what I'm doing wrong or what should I try? Well, lucky for you, you're you're getting the advice from the person who's never had a girlfriend and the person who cannot find love and the person <laughs> who... <laughs> so you're fucking cooking right now. You got three that land a nice ass spot. It's because um, for sure, that one hurt. <laughs> that shit was nice. So you got your, you got the, you got the best people. What to advice, advice do you want to get from? Sis? <laughs> who do you want to start? Who do you want to? Who do you want to yeah, start? Want? The one that can't find love, or the one that, or the one that can't can receive love, receive love, and the one who says he's happy married, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> who do you want first? Who or the one first? that wants love, but no, yeah, he'll yeah. never get it. Who do you want first? <laughs> Um, the married one first. <laughs> okay, well, I want to save that for the last. I want to save it because oh, yeah, sure. save me for last. Yeah, All right, that's yeah. the guy that would never. Let's get start. Love. Let's start. Let's yeah. I'll start here. I'll start with me. Wait, not you. I was looking at Hans. Oh, uh, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> you think I'll find love? Yeah, I think you will. But not Hans. I don't know. I'm not gonna find love until I like cut Rex off out of my life. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> no, seriously, nah, low key. What does that have Rex to do? sabotages relationships? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the whole friend group does. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, but you never had a girl. What the fuck? Is that yeah, because you sabotaged them all. Oh my bad. Why? If he's my married, bad. why is he sabotaging it for? It's because you don't see what the what like behind the scenes is. Yeah, behind the scenes. Going, you don't know what goes Rex, on behind the scenes. Because my boys don't don't know how to like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now Rex fully, is like fully. Uh, um, <laughs> anyway, I think they look, don't know how to I, fully I, be in relationship. I, I think now, what's at thirty three, uh-huh. right? There's a lot of men who see women that are like thirty three and they're like, mm, why is she, why does she have a girl a boyfriend? Yeah, low key thirty three year olds are hot. You know what I mean? So I don't know, like, where where, where mean, do you where do you live? It's not like yeah, where do you live? I live start in there. Palmdale, California. Palmdale, California. LA oh County, God. but it's not yeah, in LA. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you in, <laughs> at least you in you in you in you in a good in a big city. You're probably looking in the wrong areas. Like, Have you ever are you looking now? Like, because you said dating app. Let me tell you right now, dating to stay yeah, don't, far throw that away. Far away from, from dating app. Have you ever d- tried uh, speed dating? <laughs> but that's even no, worse. I haven't. I don't think it's. Weird. I want to try speed dating. Go to church. Me no motherfucker at church. Like, you know. know what though? I've realized hmm. there's been a new trend. Uh, now you, a long time ago. <laughs> what happened? I'm new to dating. It's okay. only I've only started dating like three years ago. Okay, perfect. Um, so I used wait, to be wait, married. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, you okay. used to be married. Okay. What happened? If you don't yeah. mind me asking, no, that's not. We don't need to talk. Yeah. Oh, if we want to get to the bottom, that's a whole oh different God. story. That's I'm a whole different story. Yeah, that's yeah. a whole. Because she wants to get in. She's like, how do I get back in dating? We don't. We don't like. Yeah, we don't want to know her history. Okay, but that's the reason why so <laughs> she could not be dating for a reason. Nah. Okay, it don't matter. Bro. Yeah, I think <laughs> that's like right now. Later. Yeah, we're talking about right now. Talking about right now. It's just that she's mostly getting and choosing. That's what the show's about, <laughs> motherfucker. All right, so I think the way the best way. In Palmdale. First, you need to get out of Palmdale. That's mm-hmm. my advice. <laughs> no, I think you gotta. Because Palmdale men, how do you think Palmdale men are? Palmdale men give me they, they, they sound tall. Because Palm. The fuck? I don't know. I don't sorry. Think sorry, so. That one didn't land. I'm sorry. <laughs> fuck. Okay, uh, but I think you gotta put yourself out there. I think from what I've seen from a lot of videos and a lot of uh, things that people have been posting. Girls who shoot their shot are usually the ones that end up in the relationship. Remember that. For the most part, guys are shy. Guys are nervous. They overthink. So if you just be like, hey, I think you're cute. Let's go on a date. Try that. Just shoot your shot. But it's got to be in person. Be like, Mm -hmm. if you find a cute guy, just be like, hey, can you help me reach for the cereal box on top of the shelf? (laughs) I can't get it. And then you're like, oh my god, thank you so much. Like, yeah, you gotta start. Ta- you, you, you gotta start asking guys like, how big is your hand? And you just <laughs> you gotta start do a it. background check on them before you fucking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ask me like, where crazy. my hug at? Type type vibes. No, no. Just, how big is your hand? How big is, how big is your cock? I bet. Oh my god, your hands Sorry, are so big. Your arms are so. Big. Yeah, well, you need to start. Not running into anybody. <laughs> if you're not well, where, what are you doing with like? What do you mean? Like, like if I go to the store and nobody's uh, like attractive no or. Guys? Yeah. What are your hobbies? Is if fuck. What are your, what I are like your... getting out of town, like going to Dodgers games and mm-hmm. the beach, but I I don't make the first move. I'll tell you right now, you're not gonna find your man at a Dodgers game. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, they're toxic. Um, They're all toxic. <laughs> yeah, but definitely go to places that you like to do, and uh, you'll find there, and you gotta shoot your shot. Then, like it comes down, I've realized. 
I even thought the same thing. I'm like, there's a new trend where so many shots have been taken through online that none of it matters. There's no substance in them. The real shots mm -hmm. are now in person. People want to be getting asked out in person. People want to be getting complimented in person. That whole DM stuff is it's just been so oversaturated. It doesn't mean anything. Um, what do you like? Mm -hmm. like what's your hobby? Hobbies? Um, I, I'm a mom and I work full time, so I don't go out much. But I want to start hiking. And I want to start going out more. Mm. Okay, okay. You can find a good man at a hiking trail. Yeah. <laughs> do you like any sports? Like, like you said, baseball. No, baseball. Yeah. Shit. Baseball oh. and soccer. <laughs> soccer. Okay. Okay. Then you should go check out the guys that play. Yeah, I should go to a Sunday league team. Sunday league team. Yeah. <laughs> go yeah. scope them out like you're a scouter. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. To be honest, I feel like as you know, as you being a single mother and looking for for you know a partner or love or you know whatever you're looking for, especially in Palmdale, where like you know most of the people that live there already like relationship. Have you ever been marriage. to Palmdale? I've been to Palmdale. Been how, to Lancaster. how do you know the people? How bro, bro, it's it's, <laughs> it's, a high, it's pretty much kind of like the high desert. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what to say. I feel like ah, fuck. I thought you guys had all the advice. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, advice if you want to like. But she, I feel like Hans, are you okay? I'm, I'm listening I just, now. I just need attention. I can't I'm say what I can because there's more, there's more to it. Why she can't find a boyfriend? What do you mean she can't? She's she wants to start dating. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's been three. You years. guys, it's exactly. Yeah, fuck. Um, there's more to it, buddy. Have well, you? For, how many dates me? have you gone in the past year? What do you mean? Oh, dates. Yeah. Um. Maybe like four. <laughs> and why haven't they worked out? It's just I, I lose interest really easily. Mm, like so um, you. if they don't keep messaging me, mm. I will I won't keep messaging them. Like I if they don't show interest, I lose interest. Mm. Valid, that's valid. Mm. I just feel like people nowadays don't try, and that's why. And I'm I feel like I'm picky because I want somebody that shows they want to talk to me. But I don't know. I know it is my town. It's it's small. Everybody knows everybody. But I also never make the first move. Yeah, and I think I'm shy at first. Because you're in a small town. Small if you see a cute guy, you got to shoot your shot. Yes. You got to get him before the other girls get him. Yeah, small town. <laughs> That's the mayor on a date. Mm -hmm. That's a sheriff. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. All right, let's let let's hit, let's uh, let's Hans, let Hans cook. Hans on cook. This one. Hans. No, I'm not saying. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. Come on. Come on, cook. I'm not saying anything. I'm going to cut this whole part <laughs> off. You're hot, you're hot, you're hot. Damn. Guy. I'm going to go for it. Why? No, no. Are we going to shout her out? Uh, any listeners that are listening to, to us right now? Any guy that wanted to take a, a nice Oh, yeah. We'll lady. do that for you. Yeah, yeah. We, that's, I forgot. We, we're love makers here. Yeah, we're love makers. So you're in, you're, you said you're in Palmdale? Palmdale, California. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, do you want to shout out your Instagram? Um, Sure. <laughs> All right, what's your IG? What's your IG? It's Daisy T, nineteen ninety. Daisy T, Daisy T, no spaces, no underscores, no nothing. Just Daisy T, no, nineteen ninety. But it's spelled different. It's D A Y S I T. D A Y S I T T nineteen ninety. Ninety. Mm -hmm. oh, that, that is different. <laughs> nice. Cool. So follow. <laughs> <laughs> You're a very pretty girl. Guys, Got go follow you. her. <laughs> go DM her. Go Ask DM her. On her. a nice Italian date. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what do you like to? What's your What's your restaurant? Like, what, what do you like? What do you like to eat? Um, mostly sushi, but I'm open to everything. I like Ooh. trying new stuff all the time. There you go. There you go. If you in Palmdale and you like sushi <laughs> and you want, uh, where well, you had brown eyes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a very nice brown eyed looking woman. Uh, hit her up. Hit her up, take her out, you know? Give her an amami, some nice, some nice six some feet nice. up. <laughs> oh, damn, do you have preference? Oh, yeah, what's your preference? Six feet and up. Um, I just, I'm attracted to Hispanic guys. What's the shortest you'll date? Um, five, seven. Damn. Damn. No wonder you can't find men, bro, because, like, I'm five, if you like four, Hispanic I... men, five, seven is an average. That's not bad. It's like the shortest i feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, she's 
Damn. You're five seven, Rex. How tall are you? I don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy work right there. I but I hope you find love. I hope someone DMs you. Let us know how it goes. And if you know, of again, if you find a, a date from the Bueno Bueno uh podcast, we got you I got you on your uh, on your first date. Okay. Thank you guys. Of course. Hey guys. We'll have a good rest of your day. Hit her up, guys. Hit her up, guys. Hey. Hey. Mm. All right, thank you. Alrighty, bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. 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 <laughs> hell yeah. Imagine we get a kidnap this shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, hell no. Don't even say Night. that shit. Why you got... Well, it's because sometimes when you push it out there, like, you know? Yeah. You got to be careful. But be careful, sis. There we go. Let's call it David. What's up, Cynthia? Hey. <laughs> sorry, sorry, the phone. The dropped. call failed. It dropped. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so we switched phones. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. Well, so what was so? <laughs> let's go back. So, you have time to talk to us? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Um. So you said, had a crazy ex steal a car to come visit me at my hometown. Then a couple of days passed. He got arrested. Call me for more details. Hell yeah. So that's crazy. You have a man steal a car to come see you? Yeah. Are you a big booty Latina? I mean, I'm not a booty, but I'm a Latina. Hell yeah. So let us let us know what what, what went down. What went down? What was what happened? What car did he steal? Well, I mean, I think it was a Kia. Mm. Was it push to start or was it like the like key, the key. key ignition? Do you think he like? Well, no. Okay, so I was talking to I was talking to him, and well, like prior before, like before I was dating him, um, we were like in that talking stage. So he just showed up at my job out of nowhere, and he was like asking for me, requesting for me. So I went up there and I like was like wondering what was going on and I saw him and I'm like what the hell like I have never met him in, like I have seen him on FaceTime but never on person so I was like in shock right so he's like after he said let's go and I'm like bro I'm in the middle of my shift like I can't just grab my, my stuff and leave and then says he just waited a bit and then after I got done with my shift we left and he he started to walk like towards the, the parking lot of Pizza Hut, okay? Like, he didn't even park in front of my job to have the decency of doing that. So I should have, like, called that, like, a red flag number one. So um, we walked to the car, and then, like, the car was, like, in the back. It had, like, a TV and, like, a, a, a PS4 and just, like, random stuff. So, like, obviously, I gave him crap for it. Like, I'm like, ¿Qué limpio tienes de carro, verdad? And like he kept saying, he kept he kept saying like that like it was stolen, and he's like like I stole it, and I'm like nah like yo yo de juegando like I was like no like really he's like yeah, and I'm like if that's the case let me get out, and then he's like no no I'm just kidding I'm playing, I'm like all right, <laughs> so like was yo lo seguí yo le yo lo seguí dándole like yo estaba en el carro con él you know so like we we had like a little day we went to the lake we like we talked and whatnot you know so we went to my house and then he he dropped me off at my house and he left um so then after that um a couple of days passed and like I texted him and he wouldn't respond to me so I was kind of getting concerned and I would like call him and he wouldn't answer so then I was like what the heck like what's going on so, um, one dia, I got it like me, perrita, and I was just walking around, and I went to go check the mailbox, and I see a letter. I see a letter from from the jail, like from from the from our county jail, and like the letter, the letter was so like it was it was just bad. Like it said, like I'm sorry, like I messed up, and like he was apologizing. And like he was just like saying like how like he was just like he he didn't know what he was doing like he just desperately wanted to meet me and whatnot so then like I just I didn't really do anything like I just I was like in shock like I'm like is this like a like what's going on so then um days like days a couple of days passed and then I get like a, a no caller ID call and I answer did you answer bueno bueno. <laughs> 
Y yo, like, bueno, oh, bueno. Ya, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, bueno. Y era él, like, era él, like, he's like, hola, like, I'm using my mom's, my mom's phone, like, it's, like, he, like, explained his whole situation, and I was like, what the hell, boy, like, he like and even after that he continued he wanted me to continuously like go and see him or like hang out with him but like no like me da, me da miedo like <laughs> how old is he he sounds like he's 42 now i think now he's 25 damn why the fuck motherfucker 25 doing all that um that's crazy hey did did he hit did he ever like did you guys ever sleep together um no that's the thing we we were going to but like i just never like i had a like like i had a gut feeling like me, me, like my sentence me está diciendo que no lo hiciera y i didn't and funny thing because after that after like i told him no y le dije que no like me dejó y la muchacha que se juntó con él um it's a baby mama now <laughs> Damn, he's, that was he's, supposed to be you. He's giving like fucking Romeo and Juliet. No, no, no. The crazy motherfucker that kills people. Yeah. Hey, uh, how was hey? Did you have fun though on that ride along with the criminal? <laughs> I mean, like at the time, I didn't. I thought he was playing games, but now, like, I'm just like, holy cow! Like, Maria, not like Ima- imagine, <laughs> imagine, sis, you would have been in a high speed chase. Oh shit! You're in a conference. Oh no, nah, that that would have not been too good. <laughs> hey, but he's smart though. You know why? Why? He's like, I'm gonna pick up this baddie fool and I'm gonna take it to the lake. <laughs> I fool took it to the said, lake. Like, nah, like he couldn't take it anywhere dead. public because, like, uh, get you get it. me? He was, it's a stolen vehicle. Yeah, he's a stolen vehicle. He's like, I'm gonna take it to that lake. Fool. Fool, this fool's not right in the head, honestly. Nah. I'm just thinking this fool's like, who in their right mind says, I'm gonna steal a car to go see a girl? That's crazy. Like, must borrow your mom, your dad, your I, homie's car. Uber don't like, exist. Hey, shout out to him, though. He's a, he's a trooper. That's like, love. That's. If That's not look. He's be, he's doing no, his shit. No, and like till this day, till this day, he still call like t- like every year he texts me on New Year's Day or on my birthday, and he like always apologizes and says like he's not the same guy that I met and this whatnot. Romantic. You know? He's romantic. He's, he's a romantic. I'm just like, criminal. dude, tienes like una baby mama y todavía estás acá atrás de mí. Like, come on. And you didn't and you didn't fuck him. No, and no. he's acting like that. That's crazy. That's crazy. No, it's just like I said, like the neon not like the, I had a feeling like I don't know, like I don't know if you have ever like had that gut feeling, but like I at the moment, like I like I'm telling you, I was about to and then go like me repente, like they said, no, no, like Maria, like I was like, no, like just like no, so I'm just like I told him no. Yeah, like I just like I kind of snap out of it, and I'm glad I did because it's not like I know. <laughs> mm. I feel like she likes telling this story to like the homegirls and like I feel like if someone ever asks like what's the most romantic a guy, something a guy's ever done to you, she's gonna say this story. Yeah. Like, well, one time my ex stole a car to come see me or whatever. Nothing crazy. Ha, I ha, mean, ha. it's not romantic. I think that's. Wait, how long did you date him for? Yeah, how long he said you guys... he's your ex. Yeah, like, yeah. How long? For how long? Yeah. yeah. Um, we were talking. We were in the talking stage for like a year, and, and you then didn't. We dated... And you didn't fuck. What? No, no, because he never com- he committed to coming to my hometown, and the times well, yeah, that Hans, I would go, to steal a car first. and like the times that I would go, like he would he would never respond or like he would just give excuses. Well, yeah, he was out there stealing cars yeah. and houses. Yeah, he was he was, he was doing robbery. And then so oh, house. and then we dated for a year and a half. Oh my God, he's still in it. Oh my god. Te gusta, te gusta la mala vida. Te gusta la mala vida, Loki. You probably turned him into that. Yeah, you turned him into that. Yeah, that's your fault. He writes in his journal every day about you in prison. Yeah. yeah. He draws oh, pictures. No. He draws like stick figures of you with titties in the wall. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> with the cheeks up, with the. Damn. <laughs> well, that's crazy. What, what, what have you done for him? What do you mean? What I have done for him? <laughs> like, like he he showed he he put in the effort, he put in the energy for you. What have you done for him? Oh, I mean, I, I mean, like recent. I just recently told my mom about it about this. Like, apenas lo dije mi mamá que like, 
pues me mandó cartas de like gel and stuff and my mom was like y no me dijiste es la pesquita and she's like like you're over here con un criminal y no, no me dices nada for real When was the so when was the, the, the whole ass pen pal, bro? Yeah, you got a pen pal. So when was the last time he sent you a, a card? The, no, that was the last time he sent he sent me a card. Like the last time that he texted me was this this um past New Year's. first um New Year's, yeah. Hey, um, how do you look? Like you think he's all tatted up now? Like, uh -huh, I think he is. Yeah, like not gonna lie, like he's still like. Yeah, poppy looking. <laughs> ah, she's the crazy. fucking Sancha. Yeah, it's waiting for her bato no, to like get right out of now, jail. Like, yeah, like I haven't seen him, pero no, like, nah, yeah, no. Hey, how, hey, so how does he pose on Facebook with this with this uh, jail suit? I don't know because he actually <laughs> he blocked me. Uh -huh, and the feet, you gotta check out the feet, bro. The feet, it's like this. Oh yeah, when they get down, like that. Hell yeah! Shout out to all the fools in the pinta. Yeah, shout out to you guys. Hey, you uh, guys yeah, listen send, to podcasts? Yeah, people, send this. Yeah, send them this clip. Do they listen so, to podcasts like in jail? Okay. I don't know, but I will. I'll, I'll send it to him for put, sure. Put money on his books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's nice thing. Send you can him do. a fucking Polaroid of you, of yourself and just yeah, send, like make pit. his make his fucking day. Nah, in jail. nah. He burned the one that he had of me. He oh. sent me a, a snap of him burning the one yeah. that he had of us. Damn. Damn. Oh yeah, you heard and he that. Was like, I, and he's like, I hope you go to hell. Like that's a little arrested. So are you the reason he went? Are you the yeah. reason he got arrested? Yeah, I feel like she had another vato. Who mm. me? Yeah. Did you ever talk to yeah. another guy? No. What made him come to you in the first place? Did you tell him to come visit me, or like, what got him to go in the car and go see you? Well, um, I don't know. I mean, well, like, cheeks, so. no, no, but he like, just... no, but did she invite him? Like, hey, come see me. Well, did yeah. you guys have something planned, or he it was just random. He's oh, like, oh no, go. like I said, he just showed up to my job out of nowhere. Mm. Crazy. Like, I, he he asked for me in the front desk, and they called me, and I'm I was in the middle of work, and I go, and I'm like, <gasps> like, mess with stay. I'm not gonna lie, because I have never met him in person. Like, I have always seen him on Facetime and stuff. So like mi primera mi primera vez like primera chamba. <laughs> yeah literally <laughs> and then after that you guys dated and no and like a couple of days after that prior um it was my birthday after and then yeah he like conoció mi familia and like he asked me out oh, hold, he's like, hold on talking about pause 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 there's pause. more to there's the something story. not adding up something's not adding yeah, up yeah so, there's more to the story that she don't want to say so you've never seen but when he first stole the car. You've never met him in person before. It was only through talking. Uh huh. And he gets there, and then you said a couple days after, but then you said prior. Yeah, like, was it after or prior that it was your birthday? A, a three days after he came to your family to your birthday with all your family. No, at? like three days after he came to meet me, it was my birthday. Uh huh. And like my, we had a little get together for my birthday. And you invited him. And he was still, and he no, he was still in town. Like he was still around. Like he never left. He he always told me that he was that he was here with his brother because supposedly his brother lived here the same town as me. So he stayed here and like he the day of my birthday I invited him and he he showed up and then. The day after my party, he just disappeared. Like he ghosted, and like, he never responded to my messages or anything. But you guys dated, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, we were dating, but like he wasn't responding to my messages. Like I'll be like, "Buenos días, cómo 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 me You got that DBS. <laughs> Mama? Yes, I, I'm just so confused. So, how many times have you guys have you seen this man in person? Prior, before dating, or? Leading on to that, in total, that whole year. In total, in total, and like, how many times have you did did you see him? Uh, like what? Maybe like a good month, a good month. But he would come and go. Like he was just kind of like venia un día y luego he would disappear for like a week or two, and then he'll come again and stay here for like three days and then leave again. You know. You think I think this was, I think this dude was like honestly that's what I'm saying he gives me like weird fucking what's that Ted Bundy Ted yeah. Bundy vibes bro yeah. like my this fool was, was doing shit probably 
I'm not even gonna say the word, but he's probably doing this shit to people and then going with this girl and then going over there and then doing this. <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't know. Cause what did he get he arrested for? There. What did he get arrested for? Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Oh, he got arrested for um Bert uh Bur- what was it? Armor and Bert uh, armor or something, some I forgot what it's called. Armor. Yeah, yeah, something armor. burglary. Because he had items that weren't even his, and then the car, the stolen vehicle, and then also for the the license plates weren't even, he didn't even have a license plate on the back, I guess. Mm. <laughs> and then, oh, and then I guess he was in house arrest. Oh my God. Do you know why he was on house arrest? For what reason? No. As a gangbanger, I know it. Where'd yeah, you meet this guy? Yeah. Where, where'd you meet him? Where I met him, he used to live here. He well, yeah, he used to live here in my hometown, and like he was with a group of friends. Like he a was gang. friends with a group, of, a friends group of, of friends. It was a gang. Yeah, it was a gang. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. yeah. it's, it's yeah, giving like, chola. We just, we just added each other and then started talking from there. You know, it's giving loca lifestyle. <laughs> Maybe the loca. <laughs> yeah. Let me guess your yeah, name. No. Guess her name. I'm She's for sure chola. Name. Gloria. Uh, Erica. Nah. Uh, come on, so throw some names. Samantha. Oh, Sa- Sa- Samantha. Nah. Give me like a nah. Jessica. Name. Jessica Guadalupe. Nah. I already said it. If you guys were paying really close attention. Oh shit. Uh, uh, J- uh so give us give us the letter. M. Monica. Monica. Maria. Who? Maria. Maria. Monica. No. Mm. Melissa. <clears throat> no. Myra. Martha. No. No. I feel like we're close. Uh, uh, yeah, you're close to Melissa. The first one. I, I already said, said Melissa. Fuck. Marion. M- Maribel. M- no. Marco. Marisol. No. Marisol. No. Marisol. M- uh, Ma- Marriott. Uh, Mar- Margaret. I don't know. Mari- it's Mariana. 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 That's a fucking chola name. Mary. Right oh, no, it's said Mariana. <laughs> oh. Well, that's kind of close, huh, man. Yeah, yeah, Mary, yeah. Mariana. Damn, well, I think. Damn, you little cholo. Are, are huh? you gonna? Are you when he comes out? Are you gonna like show love with him? Show love oh, to him? she is hundred percent. Hell yeah. No, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Look, I'm gonna Mariana. tell you, look, he's gonna come out with hella fucking tats up to his neck. Oh yeah. He's gonna be like, "Fuck, papi, like, I want you, papi." And then you know, oh. watch, trust. Look her go. Let uh, she, uh, she thought about that right now. Think uh. about it, you never had the dick, so that dick's gonna be feeling like. <laughs> It's gonna be different. That's just been a butt, though. That Wait, prison? pause. What the of fuck? Men is butts? <laughs> I'm dead. That's crazy work right there. That's crazy. You my said bad. That. Why am I saying like I had crazy. dick before? Yeah. Trans, when you get that dick, sis. Oh my god, he's gonna change you. Oh, uh, hell no. Hans, that one got you hot ass fuck, huh? Crazy, crazy. Well, yeah. Um, well, thank you for that interesting story. I hope um, <laughs> you don't get stabbed when he comes out. <laughs> yeah, I hope no, 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 don't say that. She's gonna hit him up. You I, are I still think you stay far away from him. But. Stay far away. Nah. Yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> All right, miss. Well, thank All you right. so much for taking our call and waiting a week for us. A. Hey. Well, thank you for calling back, for fin. Of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and if we call, if you get another blocked call, it probably not us. So be careful. I no digan eso. <laughs> <laughs> I will have All a good right, rest of bye, your day. Ma- 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 All right. Mariana. Mariana. Bye. Bye. Hell yeah. She <laughs> sounded hot. What the fuck? I don't know. Mariana I don't, Pica- trust, I don't trust how, voices. You know, like, what do they say when it comes to your name? Like, Mariana Le Pica La Rana or something like that? I've never heard that. Mariana. I don't know. Conoces a Pantera? Yeah, I know that one too. <laughs> I'm taking off your tank. Because, you know, Mexicans, they always, no? they always roast you over your name. That was three. Calls. Yeah, that was three. That was three, buddy. Yeah, but we have 58 minutes. You know how Mexicans always roast because your name, like, uh, Saul, something, something, something. Um, Brian El, El Dian. Oh, shit. Okay, guys, I have a question for you guys. Got a question. Drake and Kendrick. No, we'll get to that. I'm, I'm annoyed with that. That's just annoying. Right? There's so much. So much to yeah, keep like, up with. Sh- but I got a real question. Real, real question. What? Um, since Mother's Day is coming up, do you give a Mother's Day gift to your baby mama? Uh, what? no, you got to give her some flowers. You, you said, do you give a gift to your baby mama? Yeah. To your fucking, the mother of your children? But you're not together. She's just a baby mama. Yeah, that's why you give her flowers. Oh, okay. So in that aspect. What if you have a girlfriend and you also have a baby mama? 
I think you got oh, for res- a girlfriend. Yeah, you for respect. Girlfriend. If your girlfriend is not toxic and she gets it, you you give her you give your baby mama at least some flowers. Hey, happy mother's happy Mother's Day. There you go. Because at the end of the day, brother, that's the mother. That's the, of your, the mother of your, yeah, child. your child. Or you take her to IHOP, like every Latino man to islands. But every person to tell <laughs> you a different answer. <laughs> Where we take your baby mama? Like, I feel like it's more accepted. Like I feel like we, I feel like more guys give their baby mamas gifts than baby mamas give their dad their baby. Women don't gifts. give gifts. They yeah, don't. women don't give gifts. They don't. No, it's just some. women don't give gifts. But they just think cheeks are gifts. Yeah. So if you have a baby mama, give her some flowers. Say thank you for uh this fucking mocoso you gave me here. I don't know. Give her shit. I don't know. Well, I'll take care of the kid for like two weeks. Just go on vacation if you want. Just go get that's your that's your gift. Mm. I gave some new clothes. Hey, how would you feel if your friend gave your mom some flowers? Okay, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. My mom probably like love that. Yeah. You being a mama's boy, what if your girlfriend like doesn't like your mom? Doesn't like your mom. That that's not gonna work. Fuck. But what if like your mom's like tripping? Well, first of all, I yeah, know, I yeah. know my, you guys know my mom. She, she yeah, my mom's yeah, not that type of lady. Okay, I'm I'm, doing this. Like if my, if they don't get along with my mom, I'm like, dude, my mom's literally not the problem. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Who goes in the front seat? Your mom or your girl? Oh, my girl. <sighs> you see, that's where it starts, Hans. You don't think your mom goes in the front? The thing is, you know my what? mom, my mom's a type to be like, oh no, está bien, mija, siéntate enfrente. Mm, okay, okay. And okay. I won't even argue. I won't even argue it or try to fight it. Like, okay, whatever. Oh. Okay, okay. But I've always, like, even with my mom, with my girlfriends, whatever, I've always opened the door for my mom and my girlfriend, whoever, whoever is my girlfriend. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. got me hot. Any single ladies, you already know. How about you, you pull up on Hans's, you know, when you guys want to have a swagger? Do you, do you, nice give, a, you give your swagger um, mm. a gift? Yeah. Mm. Bro, I even gave her a gift when I wasn't even with my girl. I, I know. On some toxic I shit? I know, I know. Or on some like... It's just... I was just on so... On some DBS shit. I was... <laughs> yes, bro. To be honest, I just... It was around that time. And I think my dad... Like, I was just so gone around that time. And yeah. my dad was just like... No, you had a good relationship with your swagger. Like, your ex swagger. so give... And I was just like... He made me feel like... Like a piece of shit. Like, damn, bro. You don't... Like, that lady treats you nice. You can't just buy her a gift. And in my she head, be- I'm like... Bro, we... We're not together. Like, that's weird. Like, I haven't seen this girl in a long time. And my dad's like, nah, don't be fucked up. And that's crazy. So, you know what I did? I went to fucking Macy's. I bought a Calvin Klein purse, which was like 350 That's DBS. That's D- oh, that that DBS. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, was, I was a young, I was a young, young kid. And, um, young yeah, kid. I want to go deliver. And she's like, oh, my God, how you been? This is, she missed me and all that. And I was like, oh. Yeah, she missed and the money. And then her sister pulled I'm up sorry. to the house. I'm sorry. I know, bro. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> her sister pulled to that. She's like, what the fuck? She's, I just, bro, in my head, I'm like, why the fuck did I do this? But out of good sake, I mean, in the future, it worked out. For me? And, and she and she always brought it up. She always told me, like, thank you. I appreciate so much for giving me a gift when, like, you weren't even nothing, like, you know, around that time. And I was like. Well, of course, everybody's going to love a gift. Would you get mad if, like, you're, 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 okay, so you have a girlfriend, right? And your girl happens to have a kid. So her baby daddy, who's not with her anymore, wants to take her out for Mother's Day. The fuck? <laughs> how mad? How mad would you be? And this way, Han says it so casually. Like, how mad would you be? I mean, I'm not letting that shit slide. Like, what the fuck? Fuck no. Because I know a lot of a lot of women would probably be like, "What the fuck? Like, you're insecure. He's just taking." No, me there's out. no way. I don't think. <laughs> and what if she hits you with the, like, let me just be with my family for once. For once, no, it's crazy. No, no, no. She does it for the sake of the child so he can grow up with the dad. Ugh. And you're not invited. You weren't even told. You're like, you're just you not. found out through the kid. Damn! <laughs> nah, look. I gotta chill. For bro. me, honestly, going back to the, the swag up part. Oh, and you bought that kid a PS5 <laughs> like a month ago. He plays it with his dad. And now you. <laughs> and, then you're, and then the dad deletes your checkpoint. He deletes your favorite avatar. Fuck yeah. Fuck. He, he messes fuck. up which he messes your guns on no, Call of Duty. No, he fucks up your pro clubs. Oh, I'll fuck him up. You were in fuck, second division. If he now fucks up my ultimate now you're team, in I'm fifth division. <laughs> Damn. Yo, not nah, but going back, I feel like if I have a girlfriend, uh-huh, and like 
I don't know. Right, I just say like, and I become cool with like her family or maybe her friends. Uh-huh. Once I break up, that's it. That yeah. relationship is over for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm unfollowing the cousins. <laughs> I'm following the friends. The grandma. On yeah. Facebook. There shouldn't. I don't think there should be a reason for you to. Like the only reason you're their friends is because you met her. You met them through them through her. Yeah. And if they're still your friends, you're gonna that she's still gonna be in the picture. So I'm yeah, like, that's everything's why I, gone. I never understood when 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 couple when like exes do that. Like oh, uh, yeah, we broke up, whatever. But me and her family are, or oh. me and the family are still cool. We still hang out, bro. They get invited yeah. to the birthday the parties. Get the fuck away. If that's we break crazy. up, yeah, it's like it's, it's over dumb. for everybody. Like it's not even to be a dick, bro. Like because like mm, you I know, have, I have a good analogy. Go. Your girlfriend is the bridge between these new people that you meet. Mm. Once your girlfriend, once you break up with your girlfriend, that bridge breaks. Yeah, you can't cross the river anymore. Mm. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you the reason why I can't. It's not because I'm I'm like I'm a dick and that was like. Um, but it's like if. I see you still, even though me and you're broken up, but if I see you around my family, that's going to make me miss you even more. So it's like, I, can't, I need to have you far the fuck away from me. Yeah. Get away from me for that reason. Yeah, if you, you'll be able, you won't be able to move on. Exactly. Yeah. That's crazy <sighs> work right there. The relationships end. All relationships end once, I, once we break up. Well, I was, on that, I was on that note, but my dad just made me feel like a piece of shit. And I feel like, he, you know, you know, dad gets no, in your I head. No, I think it's just your dude. And him do it. Cause around that time, my 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 parents and her mom were like really good friends, and they're always on that like, well, you guys made made us meet together, so now now you got to deal with it. And in my head, I'm like, bro, I was so far gone in my life, I was just like, I don't give a fuck what's going yeah. on back home. I stand on bending because I was traveling like out of state, so I was never home. Like I was mm-hmm. always on the road, and even when I used to be home, I would just go out there and party and like get fucked up. So I wouldn't even I will I bro, I just felt like so fucked up. And I know it sounds stupid, but I mean, I did it. I was done. Uh, I was just like, how old, here, how old are here you? you go, nice lady. I was like 20, 21, 20. That's and I was like, here you go. And then, yeah, she was dead. Yeah, there was a lot of things where I was kind of like. And what was, where was your girl at at that time? I don't know. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I would not, I would not do that. Uh-uh. But talking about things I would not do. Being a stepfather. I think about that one. Honestly, stepfather now is not even too crazy. It's for, not it's crazy. Not even yeah. like, oh. okay. Before it was and like that's uh, what men say when they reach like that's close true. to thirty. That's true. Because when you're 21 <laughs> and you ask the homie like, oh yeah, of course. What the? F- if you would have asked what? me that at fucking 20, 21, I'd be like, fuck no. As a dating pool gets smaller, you start be like, fuck, uh, okay, I get this. Uh, okay. Would you be friends with the dad? The dad? No, nah, that's some white people shit. That is some white people shit. Um, I won't hate him. I might not have beef with him, but it's like, bro, like, the fuck with you. Like, oh, what's up, bro? Yeah, nice to meet you. You're, you're, not, you're not man enough to like. What the fuck? Nothing you and him, him, like, he has a girlfriend. You got his baby mama, and y'all like, nah, go. Nah, like, nah, nah, nah. nah to like, make things even, like, have a beer. To make things even, I have to fuck his girl. Yeah. And then we can be cool. Yeah. And then I'll think. <laughs> and then I'll think about it. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, and then he's accepted the, the carne asada. Yeah. Nah. 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 No, you'll never invite him to the carne asada. Nah. Nah, I mean, he, the, 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 yeah. the kid's gonna grow up confused. He's yeah. gonna think we're gay or some shit. He's like, I got two dads. Yeah. Like, wait, what the fuck? Yeah, but that makes the kids feel safe because nah, he's like, I got my that. stepfather and then I got my dad and they're cool and we all get to be a happy family. Nah, fuck that shit. The world's not happy. He's got what if the dad is not only financially supporting your girl, but also like hooking you up? Like, Oh, he's like, dope. Like, yeah, hey, you know, so he's like, a homie for hey, sure. So I got a, I got a beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and my, I'm take on my yacht tonight. We and my boys like, we go fishing on the yacht. A yeah, beer. Like, like, I can buy my own beer if he tells me like, hey, bro, you know what? I got us some plane tickets to go fucking. I don't know. Watch fuck. the Knicks game. Yeah, yeah. I'll buy for sure. He's like, bro, bro let's go, go to the Laker game. Bro, you know what? Me and my boys can't go, but here I got your tickets to the Laker game. Nah, oh. you know what's crazy? You're crazy about that. He's giving you gifts because he's still piping your girl. He feels ah. bad. He feels guilty. Got me hey, things aren't as sweet as it seems. You guys gotta remember that. You gotta remember got that. Right because it's true. Me you feel yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Now I, I just think me like I'll, I'll not like how I said I won't have beef with him. I'll keep it cordial with him. You know, like oh you he's my my girl's fucking baby daddy. Jeez. But just keep it at that. What's up? Every time I see him, what's up, bro? You doing? Boom. Respect. That's it. But like, don't fucking. Oh, I'm gonna get you hot. What if he every time you meet him? I mean, every time you see him, he you. He's always punching in your head like. I remember, bro. Remember who was first? I'll smack the fuck out of him. You got the wrong one, homie. I'm smacking you. And what if, what if the kid hates you because you're like, you got beef with the dad? Then I'm fucking leaving. 
Oh. I'm not That's what up I'm saying. Is there a fine line where stepfathers never went? They at the end of the day they don't, and it just depends if the if the dad is a piece of shit, uh-huh. deputy dad, where he's either in jail or just gone. That that's okay. That's, that's okay. That's you're you're cool. always gonna win. You're always gonna get respect. It's but. fucked up for the girl, but it's like good. <laughs> like in the yeah, it's good for you because you know you yeah, get to be. There. I just feel like if things but, go south, yeah. the baby moms is gonna go fuck the baby dads always. But okay, but the dad's in the picture, right? What if he's dead? Oh, that's dope. <laughs> I'd step. I I'd, I'd have. I I'd raise that child as my own. <laughs> oh fuck! So so the kids will be crying every year because his, his their dad birthday? passed away. Nah, but what if he like and, died and, at and when the so, kid was so three was years the, old? Huh? The kid was three years old and he died like yeah, the dad. Yeah, so I was at the funeral like Spider Man just looking down like. That's wrong, but Spider Man when he when he when he has the black suit on. Huh? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that's right. Yeah, hurry up, let's go. Let's, let's go, gotta go, go to buffet go. after this. Let's go. I got LAFC plays at seven. We gotta go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> so that's okay, right? Either the dad is he's fucking gone or Deceased? he's really gone. That's what if the he's best in thing. jail? Like what if the for baby life goes? for life or he's gonna get off? He's out. gonna get out like in when the kid turns like thirty two. I don't care. No, no, when the kid turns eighteen. When the kid turns eighteen. Ooh, Fallon's tough. Cause then the kid's eighteen, he's either gonna hate his father for being absent, or he's gonna be oh, at they're that gonna age create a bond. He, yeah, he's gonna be like, Man, "Fuck this food. You're not my real. He's not even your real dad. Look so, what he's doing so to that, our family. That, that's the look question. what he's doing to our family, Jacob. <laughs> huh? I named you Jacob. Don't forget that. <laughs> Does, that's the main question. Do stepfathers get? Do they? They, they full win. Full respect. Hey, can we get a stepfather call in? If you're a stepfather, oh, yeah. call in. We want yeah, to talk to you. We want. We want to talk to you. But I'm talking about full respect. Respect, like, like, like respect as a real. Yeah, father. yeah, yeah. No, hundred percent. You know what? Nah, I'm fucking around. I have a cut. Co- yeah, I have a cousin who's a uh, like the father that stepped up. He's a great ass dad, and he's like uh, always shown, like literally, the, like that's that's the dad. So I think. Uh, but, but 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 hold on hold on. Is it? Is, well, I'm talking about full respect, but the dad has to be there. Like the kid's dad. Actually, I don't even know where the fuck that dude is at. You see, and that's what I'm saying. I don't think you get full respect when the kids actually, I mean, when the father's actually there. Hmm. You only get full respect when the father's not there. I used to talk. I was talking to this one single mom one time, and I always get pissed whenever she bring up like her her baby daddy. It pissed me the fuck off. Like, like what kind of like, like, don't don't how would she bring him up? Like oh like he's just not like oh he dropped him off late today. Like oh, fuck don't tell me shit about that. Hmm. I don't want to be reminded you have another man's. No, no. I don't know. That's just no, me. No, I'm toxic. Because I've seen, I've seen stories where it's like stepfather never gets full respect, and it's just like I'm like, bro, that shit. No, I think they. You're do. dealing with that for years. I think, it, I think it just depends. Not, not all, not all. You're always on the plank. You're walking on the plank. The thing is, anything you could do, everybody would hate you. Now that's the thing. If you want a kid, would hate you. If you, if you, if the perception of what other people think is dictating your relationship. Mm. No, 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 you're, no. It's you're not what other people you're, you're think. You're an insecure man. Yeah, it's, what, it's the, the way you you can't even handle your family because that's not your family. You could try to build it, but the well, kids, that's the conversation. If you the have. kid doesn't respect you, but I've seen many TikTok videos of when like the stepfather gifts like the adoption papers to like yeah, the, I've seen those too. to the son or the daughter mm. or the daughter, I, yeah. and they get so happy. Yeah, I see that's just cute as fuck. Yeah, it is okay, but I'm but I'm talking about a, a father that's not absent. I'm talking about a father's there. I'm talking about but then that all, you know if, if the kid doesn't respect the stepfather, yeah. then the girlfriend or mm. the wife, the you know, the wife would kind of feel like, oh well my kids don't like you and but I think then you're a pussy. That all now that that all depends on how you are. If you're a pipsqueak, you're gonna let yourself get fucking stepped over, then yeah. that's on you. Yeah, yeah. You can't I ain't your no fucking pipsqueak. Yeah. I'm a, if put, I'm a stepfather, put, you gotta stand they, on they, it. Ain't, they ain't gonna walk all over. But me. what yeah, can yeah. you do though? And not like, even on you a can't talk- whoop them. No, no, I'm that's not. not your kid. No, I'm not. I don't have to whoop them. I just fuck uh-huh. with my voice. I'm gonna like what? What motherfucker you want me? Oh, you want Now you actually bro, I was talking to some stepfather. Oh, so you gonna talk shit like that to your step stepkid? I'd rough house them. I push them a little harder and shit like that. I'll trip them. the fuck over there. I'll throw, nah. the, I'll throw the football at his head a little harder. Yeah. I'll play dodgeball with him. Just, yeah. or I'll play tailor ball with him. I'm like, this is what I used to play in, 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 in elementary See, school. See, but that... Boom! He's going he's gonna to hate you, bro. I don't give a fuck. I forgot who I talked to. <laughs> <laughs> now, but see, you're saying if, if he acts, tries to act like that yeah. with me, then I'm going to act back like that with him. All right, what if you do everything? You, you fucking give this kid everything. Mm. And in the end, he's so unappreciated. And he's just like, yeah, you're not my dad. And I don't day. care. I'm fucking your mom. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> See how I stared in your eyes? Yeah. You almost believed it, huh? Shut the fuck up. Exactly. Um, crazy shit uh, happened recently. 
Uh, Rick Ross plane. Did you hear about Rick Ross's plane? No. Did you hear about it? Yeah. His his plane like uh, crash landed. Uh, like a week or two weeks after he talked shit about Drake's old ass plane, and now his plane, almost like the re- the reason why it stopped them, the why like the plane didn't like fucking go crazy is because the wing stopped it. Like he, it went like. Eh. Did he see on the what comment the, the wing stop? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's funny. So but, you think Drake has something to do with it? Nah, yeah. nah, nah. But, but I think it was just a. It's pretty ironic. All right, ironic. Or maybe, maybe you know, Drake's with some Illuminati owl shit. Maybe he prays some voodoo owl stuff to do that. Yeah, I mean, shit. Nowadays, I mean, people believe what happened with him and when X that he has he had to do with it. He says it in his songs. He did. Drake did kill him. Sublim- subliminal. I'm like glazing X. Drake every week. To be honest, this is the first week that we're not going to glaze him because he's getting murdered right now. He's getting murdered on the diss tracks. Have you have you kept up with how many diss tracks nah, have been bro. dropped? Bro? I, I only heard the one that Drake dropped and then the one that responds. That Honestly, Kendrick, it's just off. so much that we can't even go over it. Yeah, but it's funny though because Drake is like, no, Kendrick's like, ah, you're a pedophile, blah, 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 you're a pedophile. I saw that. And then Drake is like... Oh, you hear your wife, and we're like, hell yeah, this is lit. <laughs> and we're like, bro, the, these two fuckers have cops, problems. I'm like, cops. somebody call the cops. So here, here's the <laughs> list. Here's True. the list of the disses. Okay, starting off with like that. All right, Kendrick Lamar releases like that. J Cole releases seven minute drill, and then he apologizes for it two days later. <laughs> Next, and then the following week, Drake leaks push ups, and then six days later. Drake does another one, TMF. What is what's one's TMF? What's what was TMF? Um, I, I forgot TMF. Uh, and then uh, ten days later, Kendrick Lamar drops Euphoria, and that shit was hard. And then Kendrick Lamar drops um, back to back. Oh no, drop he drops six sixteen in Los Angeles, and it did not stop there. This day, May third, will be remembered in history because on this day, Kendrick drops. Drake drops right after. He's like, boom, gotcha, bitch. But then Kendrick is like, gotcha, bitch. And he drops again. And he drops again. And he drops again the next day. Motherfucker dropped so many fucking... On May 3rd, we see one, two, three. We see four diss tracks. And the following day, another one. That's five diss tracks in less than two days. Mm. Never before done rap, hip-hop rap history. Really? Is that, is that you're just saying that? No, this May third. Sounds like academics, huh? Bro, academics was fucking funny, bro. <laughs> bro, but that shit was crazy. I'm loving everything, bro. I am loving it. And I was glazing Drake earlier on, and I I called J Cole a pussy, but J Cole, it was in the right. J Cole did a smart thing by stepping away because Kendrick, he's uh, someone said, do not mess with the short man from Compton. I think he's a Gemini too. He, yeah, he's got a lot of aggression. He's a fucking demon. That's just hard though. Yeah, I just hope it's all friendly, fade, and not because hopefully no one gets killed for this. I don't see nobody getting killed. I don't know, bro. Some people are gonna get their egos hurt. Look at all all these rappers want to want to prove something. So. I think there's too much money now for motherfuckers to shoot each other. I think back then when the raft beef raft beefs were going on, and people were actually killing each other. I don't think they're making as much money as they're making now. So people are like, definitely it's not worth to lose all these fucking millions. Especially Drake. Drake is not going to... Maybe he'll send a shooter, but there, uh, there's no fucking way. There's no way. I, there's no way. No, I, don't, I don't think so. Because no. now there's Rico. Now it's a Rico case. Hmm. There's no way escaping this. That's true. There's no way. Because if they're beefing and somehow someone dies, there's a Rico case. So I, I doubt it. That's true. That's very true. Yeah. So... Kendrick Lamar is going crazy, going crazy. What about what about the whole fucking um, thing with the? Cause I I don't know if it's, I don't know if you told me or someone told me that. Well, cause apparently he's out. Morgan Wallen had a concert, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stagecoach. Yeah. But someone said that he 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 assaulted a fan or he did something and then they arrested him or some shit. I don't know. I don't know if you guys hear about that. No. I don't listen to that white man. I just started. I remember because we saw yesterday Morgan Wallen the phone. Bro, yeah. what the fuck is Morgan? You don't fuck. With, you don't know Morgan, Morgan Wallen? Morgan Bro, I don't even know who Morgan Wallen is. You're lying. I swear. Last night we let the liquor talk. Don't know what we think, think, but I said it all. Hey, you guys didn't. Did you catch my reference earlier in the first call? No, I didn't hear you. 
when I was like, uh, oh, he's indecisive. He can't decide. He keeps on looking from left to right. You guys didn't catch that? What does that mean? Like I don't know. To leave you and leave. Shawty is a eeny, meeny, miny, mo lover. Shawty is a eeny, meeny, miny, mo lover. Shawty oh my is... God. Sean Kingston? Yeah. She's indecisive. She can't decide. She <sighs> anyway, Canelo I swear and God. Mungia. Mungia. Right. What's his name? Mungia. It, let me know. Yo, that was a sick ass fight. I love Canelo that fight. Mungia. Oh my God. It was a. I watched the fight at my house. And you it, bought it? It was a good fight, yeah. You bought it? Yeah. My dad, he's like, hey, la pelea. And I was like, so I'm not paying for that. It's fucking 90 bucks. God and he's like, yo, la pao, yo, la pao, pon la, pon la, I can just get it. And I was like, oh, okay, fuck Damn, it. Damn, 100 bucks? Did you watch it? Nah. Bro, did you catch? Did you, nah. Nah. Did you see when Canelo didn't let uh, Munguia fall? Yeah. That's what I told him. I saw it. It's just crazy. That's right. That's I, right. I caught that in the, when we were watching it. I was like, "What the fuck?" Me and my dad were like, "What the fuck?" And he's like, "Yeah." He's like, "He doesn't want to end the fight because it, it's because look, in boxing, there's a lot of money going into it. A lot of people are betting money. So it's like, oh, if he falls during this round, then he loses all this shit. He's not gonna win. Nah, but that's insider betting, and that's 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 illegal. Oh well. I think. Wait, so Canelo cannot bet on himself? Yeah, he could. Oh, he can. It depends Wait, on no, what state. I don't think so. No, it depends on I mean, what state. It's Vegas. No, but then like, cause if he bets himself that he's going to on decision and he doesn't let him fall, that's legal. Yes, but it depends on what state. Because Ryan Garcia did the same thing. He was in, he bet two million on himself that he was gonna win by knockout. I think he can only do it by knockout. I don't know because by falls decision, I don't that. think so. But uh, what I heard it's because it's he he says he he's not humiliating humiliating another Mexican fighter because they're both Mexicans. Yeah, and he didn't want to. And he's bro, this dude's young. He's twenty seven. Imagine just, I feel like Munguia is in the position that Canelo was when he fought Mayweather, where he was just so young and everything. And it, like it, that fight was extremely important for his career because either he just goes into thinking like, I'm a fucking loser, my biggest opportunity, I lose it, or he takes something from learning from it. I feel like if he would have gotten knocked <clears throat> out, his, his hopes would have been crushed. But I, Canelo knew that and he felt yeah. like, he's like, I, I'm going to rough you up, but there's still so much more you got to learn. Because he even said afterwards, he was like, yeah, he's still pretty slow. Like, I saw all his punches coming. The only reason he hit was because I got too confident. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's because he, he he was fighting another Mexican. He didn't want to knock him down because he fucking hates uh, Julio also, Cesar Chavez Jr. Oh. He wanted to fucking knock, like, rip his head off, but that food can take hits. But So, yeah, I don't think it's that. I just think... I mean, at the end of the day, Munguia put on a fight, bro. Like, he's a, he has yeah. a heart of a champion, bro. Because he didn't... No, actually, He knocked know, him down the fourth round, and he got back up. You know what it the, gave me, though? I, I love the uppercut he gave him. And yeah. he just took it. Bah! I was like, bro, he was oh, taking a punch. Shit. But this is the thing. Honestly, I, I don't think Canelo was... I, it felt like a sparring session for Canelo. Yeah. It didn't seem like Canelo was really going in. Yeah. But that's why a lot of people are already criticizing him, because they're like, bro... When the fuck are you going to fight Benavides? But a lot of people don't understand. Benavides hasn't done much, bro. Yeah. He has all these fights, but he hasn't... Who the fuck has he fought? He hasn't, yeah. fought, he hasn't fought much. But why they want him to fight him? Because he's already at that... They call him the Mexican monster, the big rising star, blah, 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 whatever. So right now, he has a... I think he has a four-deal fight. He always has a four-deal four, four deal fight. So I, honestly, me personally, bro, I think he should fight him. But since Canelo is, is the... is the He's, a, he's A. He's A, the A, a card? Right, what do they call it? Yeah, I forgot the A side. The A side? A side. I feel like he should do it and like put his rules of how he wants to do it. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing I didn't know that they set up on boxing. I didn't know they have rules. Yeah, they have rules. Whoever like no is. knockouts. So like, let's say for instance, I'm the champion and mm -hmm. you want to box me. I'm gonna be like, well, I'm the A side. You're gonna have to uh, cut weight. You're gonna, down, to, yeah. you're gonna have to go up weight. Go up 20, weight. Ten pounds. Mm -hmm. But before we get to that, you're gonna have to do a, a, a like a dehydration clause, whatever the fuck it's called. So that means. The day of weigh-in, we both have to weigh about 165. 160. No, 160. 160. So then at that, and then after that, I can go back up to my weight, which is like 175 or whatever. So I'm fighting at 175, and at the end of the day, you're fighting at like 165. And, and you get to choose the yeah. cut of the money, right? Yeah. What the fuck? Boxing, bro. Honestly, boxing is like... And you get to choose exped uh, expedition. I mean, it's an exhibition. Exhibition. Bro. Or, or a pro full fight. knockout. Yeah. Bro, it's crazy because Ryan Garcia and Wayne, he was 140. You know how much he was in the ring? He was 160. Damn. These fools walk around weight is crazy, bro. The UFC... Some UFC fighter almost passed out uh, getting weighed, uh, the, what is it, on Friday? 
like the night before the fight. He he looked so fucking sick. Yeah, because the dehydration. Yeah, so. and then he like he couldn't even stand up, and he, they got they got his record, and then he stepped out, and he was like stumbling off, and they're asking him to get back on, and he was refusing. He's like, no, 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 because he knew he was motherfucker was gonna faint, but he made weight. Yeah. Like, I wonder how much. Oh, I want to see how that happens. They probably just throw the. Oh, they're probably just throwing up all the time. Bro, yeah, I've seen like I seen like clips on like uh, before fights and shit how they do it for that dehydration shit. It's bad, bro. But they have to to weigh in. It has money too. It has money. You know what? Also, I think they shouldn't do. They they shouldn't fucking like, interview fighters after a fight. They're tired, bro. They don't know what the fuck. Bro, they're like all fucking like uh, all amariados. They just like, got fucking uh, socked for like ten. So who do you want to fight next? Fuck, bro. I don't. I don't know. Let me talk to my like, bro. I don't fuck. I don't know yeah. that guy over there. Especially in UFC, bro. Yeah. These motherfuckers are all like all pendejo and shit. After they're like, oh, no. <laughs> and did you? See, I think it was. <laughs> They ask, uh, they ask political questions. Like, what do you what do you do about Trump? Yeah. Like, oh, what the fuck? Did you see Peso Pluma was there? Did you see him? Yeah. Did you, next to him, I think it was uh Tito Doble P, the other dude. Uh do you know who that is? His brother, no, his cousin or some shit. I don't know if it's his cousin, but it's another artist. But that dude I was just watching, he he kept standing up during the fight. And then all like and he was just like going, ah, like all that. And I just kept thinking, I was like, imagine paying like fucking ten thousand dollars to sit behind that dude. Yeah, he just and you just missed and he just keeps standing up every single time. That fucking suck. Yeah, that would suck. That'd be annoying. Yeah, that's why floor seats are the best because you may not have the best view. You know what I don't understand? How the fuck did Canelo? Well, this is a practice fight for him. That's why I saw it. You saw Canelo went to the club after. Oh. They, he always and he's always like he's always getting lit at the club. I'm like, bro, you just fuck. they always go. They, they always, always go. they always go to the clubs after every fighter. <laughs> Even the losers, they go to the club because they already have their fucking section reserved. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. It's all paid for and shit. Yeah. Just go and pull it's like, up. Hey, pull it's it to dress and now we're getting late. Hey. Yeah, it's just, it's just crazy. They got the DJ right there. I saw Sworn had a, like Dre, Dre's uh, fucking, you know, all pimped out. That shit was dope. Dre? Dre's. Andrea's? It's Dre like Andrea's. It's a club in Las Vegas. Of, oh shit. One of the best clubs. That's oh, we, we went to Dre's. No, we did. Oh, yeah, he didn't we go. did, yeah. yeah. That was the one where everything went down. Yeah, two chains was there. Yeah. Well, shout out to Sworn. Yeah, that shit's wild. Fuck. All right. So the LA County Fair is back. Why you get hot? Hey, well, we haven't got invited since that one last time. Yeah, they don't fuck like, with two us, years bro. Ago. Like, what do you think it is? Because they probably don't like your can. It's a fun time. Are you guys going to the fair? What fair? Uh, we just... I'm just playing, I'm playing, playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> You're not I don't really playing. like LAFC fair. LAFC fair. I mean, LA, uh, LA County fair, my bad. Get I like the OC fair. I like the OC fair. I did too. OC fair is more like, that's where I found, that's where I found love. Oh, it is more expensive though. It yeah. is, it is. That's, it is. that's some kind of like, fuck. I, I mean, I'm down to go. The thing with LA County fair, it's hot. But honestly, let's just be honest. A fair is more for if you have family, like or, kids, or, or you have a, girl. a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. But you're gonna meet a lot of a lot of a lot of chica, a lot of cholos from LA with the dog. Nah, that's, the, that's the least of my worries. I'm talking about like like going to the fairs either if you have a girlfriend or you have a family. Yeah, with kids. It is expensive. It's fun. It's fun. The nighttime is a is a vibe. If you're there at night, that shit's a vibe. The lights, the fucking. Are we going? The weather. That's, no. Why not? Why rather go to Six Flags? Why the fuck we go to the fair for the vibes? Go with your. I want to see the pig race. When they race the pigs. Pigs. So any girl wants to go with me, so I was gonna pay for the whole thing. You know, sponsor the you know I network. That's crazy. She gonna, she gonna you know it's crazy at the fair as a grown man <laughs> going down the slide. Please. And doing this? your hands up. <laughs> Honestly, my most favorite part about the LA County Fair last time was the um the Asada and Disco. Silence. That shit was fun. That shit was fun. Imagine it's funny. I took it off and I was like, well, we all look stupid. Yeah, everybody looks stupid. I think that's the funny part. <laughs> hey, the pineapple. Hawaiian oh, pineapple. the Hawaiian, the Hawaiian Ooh, pineapple. Oh, yeah. Did you try it? No. That so video, that video did some good. jalapeno uh, bacon wrap. Oh, that shit was ass. <laughs> the cookies were fire, huh? The cookies were fire. Freshly baked? Yeah. Freshly fresh. baked. I haven't had some freshly baked in a minute. Fresh. What's the What's the eggs you can have at the fair as a man? If, like you having too much fun at the water gun. <laughs> if you get it's caught an in, egg, yeah, in egg, so eggs at the LA County Fair. Okay, uh, <laughs> the, the one of them. One, if you go on a date and you don't win anything, that's crazy. And that just shows that you you suck at sports. Like, yeah, that's crazy, you're bro. Like ah, uh, 
What about when they give you the balls and you got to make the horse runs? So you know, for the you know, you got to throw the ball and you're going like this. And you're missing all the holes. I feel like another ick is like if you order cotton candy and you're just like, Bush, oh Hans, fuck you. <laughs> Like putting that whole love, shit in your mouth, like why, bro? As a man, candy, bitch. as a grown man, I don't know, bro. That's a little weird. What's what another funny ick? I I think what you said, the slide going down the that, that carpet slide where you put your feet inside the little thing and you're holding it, and you gotta be arched a little bit, and oh. you're like boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's an ick. And the third one is is and it's it's the, deeper, so it's that one deeper, hurts. So you go doom, you jump. <laughs> I think if like any any ride like. That involves your feet to like dangle. Oh yeah! Like if your feet are if your fucking feet are dangling, dangling. Oh, that's oh. the egg, Yo, we gotta go to the fair and make this a video. That'd be funny. I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna hit them up. That like, yo, give us tickets and we'll do a funny ass video. That's oh, what funny. Else, what else? Wait, what's another ick oh, at no the bad. LA County Fair? You're putting your hands up at the little concert they have. You have to go to the restroom all the time. Mm. Oh, that's me. That's, that's, that's me. That's bro. Hans. I, that's I have crazy. to pee right now since we got here. Oh. What else? It's a lot of, it's a lot of weird shit. Like if you're gonna do the bungee jump and you gotta put on the harness and it's like squeezing you and it looks like you have a big ass camel toe. Mm, the camel when you toe can't part. make the hoop at the basketball shooting. And you make and you start making an excuse. Oh, it's because the rims are actually like an oval and they're double. So like that's why usually I they go in, but it's because their rims are are mess are different. That's why they make it. Mm -hmm. Or like you go to the you go to the um you go to the fair and then she goes to order a turkey leg and you're like and you said tell her oh no I can't I'm on a diet I can't eat that uh -oh. so that's an egg bro yeah when you start bringing up your diet yeah, shit like, oh, oh I can't no. I have to count my macros today uh, uh, I forgot isn't... my scale or, or when you go inside the mirror maze and you hit yourself in the fucking <laughs> in the glass <laughs> <laughs> oh you oh, forgot and what she's you... like are you okay yeah, I'm fine and then you hit yourself again in the face bye. You didn't bring your sweater because you thought you were too cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're cold. So I was, in, so I was landing these now you're shaking, nice you're like, yeah, you're just like, are you cold? No, no. No, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. good. I'm fine. Your nose is all runny and shit. Uh, you can't find your What if you're walking back to the car? And you can't like, find it. No, no, you're walking back to your car and the car's like waiting for you to pass by. So you run. You do a little, <laughs> you do a little jog. <laughs> That's an egg, bro. Uh. Uh, if you, you gotta run huh? for the car, that's an egg, bro. I'm, uh, I'm not. I'm not I'm running. Gonna go to LA County Fair and make this video. <laughs> what about when you're yeah, playing yeah, games yeah, yeah. With, with the girl, the little hmm? little uh, guess game? Like, what is it called? Uh, Charades? No, yeah. Uh, Trivia. It's heads up. Heads up. But that's when you're it? waiting in line. Uh, yeah. Bro, uh, I like. I remember one time I went on a date to the fair, and because I was like, I was being cute. And like, you know, I was being stereotypical. I was like, let's get on the fair. I mean, let's go on the fair. Let's get on the Ferris wheel. Mm. I'm fucking terrified of heights. So I was just, that was an ick. Like, she's like, I was all stiff up there. I was just like this. I didn't want to move. And she, we were just sitting there and it was all. He awkward. was shaking his neck. He's like this. Yeah. And I didn't even have a sweater and it was cold. Oh, hell no. Yeah. What about, what about when you're feeding the goats? And it bites and, you. And yeah. And it's just like licking your whole hand. You're just, you're just giggling <laughs> like, oh my God. Oh shit. What if you're smiling through a ride? Like, is that an egg? You like scream? you're having fun? You scream. Can men have fun? <laughs> That's the real question. Can men have fun? Put that shit on the fucking on the main YouTube. Yo, shit. bro. Honestly, this can men have fun, bro? Can men nah, have man. fun? Ick. I don't think we can. Ick bro. culture has the ick culture has ruined like dating. It really has. <laughs> you know what's one that I saw? I got me ick. Why do you do that? <laughs> You know what's one that got me hot as fuck? <laughs> oh hell no. Nah. It said if you have if you have older sisters, yeah. it's an ick. Uh, like what yeah, the that one, fuck? That one, yeah, that one got me hot. That one got me hot as fuck. I mean I have no sisters, but like now I feel what like the fuck? I, I double think everything I do because I'm like, is this an ick? I texted this girl the other day because I, I like giving girls icks on purpose, to be honest with you. <laughs> I was the type to like get a get a Sunday. At Wendy's. That's you, motherfucker. Or ice cream cone at McDonald's. That's you. What does Regs oh, always do it? every time we go eat? So let's hey, get, some, go, ice get some ice cream? It's because I have a sweet tooth. Like, fool, I got to get a little ice cream. You know what I found out? Uh. I don't like going to Blazing Crab with Rex. What? What? You don't talk. That's the Bro. only time he does not talk. It's weird. It's uh, I, no, I love going with because okay, he doesn't right, shut listen, the fuck up. We went for the first, first time. He didn't talk. Second time, he didn't talk. Bro, because the shrimp is good. 
No, I the love shrimp. I love going with them. And mind you, my girl got me the medium spicy. Like that shit is spicy as fuck. And I was already hot because she got that shit peeled. Like that's pussy shit. <laughs> yes, I would get to shrimp peel. You don't like being a real man. I like fucking peel. I do he, both. It's because some things is gay when you gotta like peel it and then suck what it. Did I say it was gay. <laughs> just, I don't know. I, I like. I just both. don't want to do that extra step. Yeah. I just want to eat it. Yeah, but that's like eating popcorn shrimp. Huh? Like huh? peeling it. Look when you when you when you peel it and you just put the sauce, it already takes out the flavor. When it's not peeled. It's like everything's there, like it's just steaming. Yeah, but sometimes he doesn't want to get. I don't want. Sometimes I don't want to get messy. Or well, not even about being messy, but it's just like See, I, I gotta egg. fucking like, do this. Man, you don't want to get like, messy. Fuck, it's just man. too much. Just yeah. ready to go. Just bop, 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 bop. Like wings, that's different. I order my my drums. You know my. Yeah. Well, the reason I didn't talk is because, bro, I was just like when I'm eating blazing crab, I'm just in the moment. Bro. To be honest, I like going I with lost. you at blazing because that that's when you shut the fuck up. <laughs> like I love that shit. <laughs> Here Literally, you if shit. you don't want to hear Rex, yeah, think I'm a blazing crab. Let's show. Let's, let's, show. Go, let's go today. Let's go right now. Let's show. Let's show. I was thinking about it. I was like, I wanted to go on a date with this girl to blazing crab, but I realized it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's not. Because no, no. I'm the egg. Bro. Like, I'm an egg when yeah. I'm eating blazing crab. Yeah. Like, my nose is all runny. Yeah. I'm having, I have all these fucking paper, like tissue paper. You start, you gotta blow your so, nose. So yeah. And when you blow hot. your nose, motherfucker, yeah, yeah, like it, it sounds like a trumpet. <laughs> 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 Like imagine hearing so, that shit. You're in a day so, with so oh, shit gets me hot. So it was like a little kid. He just he shakes his head. Yeah, he shakes his head. <laughs> that shit got me hot. And then after he's gonna be tired, he's gonna be tired. Yeah. Just do this. Like chill, bro. Don't get don't get sauce in your eyes. I don't no, even no, do that because I don't like. I, I I use my little knuckles. How, to, use the, how, how does so ask knuckles. for the napkin? How how how? <laughs> Raise his head. No, no, like you're over there, Hans, and he asks hey, you for the napkin. Can I get a napkin? Can I get a napkin, please? A napkin? And he gets him, he gets him. Thank you, thank you. He's gonna be like, spicy, huh? Bro, <laughs> 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 I'm fucking oh, dead. That's, that's you. crazy. That's talk. you. That's crazy. Talk. Yeah, I've never like, done that. Yeah. I've never done that. That's crazy. That's. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That's funny, baby. Never got a blazing crap with y'all. <laughs> yeah, we are, we are. But, we are. but she, I saw that, bro, so when I was with my girl, like, I saw that, so I was looking at me. He was right there. I for sure in his head. He's like, he probably thinks I'm weird because I'm not talking right now. But, bro, I, I, my girl ordered me the most spicy shit they had. We got the same thing. <sighs> no, it's because you got mild. I got, I got, like, real spicy. No, you didn't. No, yeah, we got the the got medium mild. medium hot. It's 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 medium mild hot. We both got medium. I thought it was mild and then medium and hot. But we got the same thing. I remember. I oh, think mild shit. might be because I remember it was mild. the same bag. The only re- but the only reason was because you guys. So got, it's my so it's medium mild hot. It's medium, yeah. And I remember because she gave us she said the order and I was like, oh, that's me. But she's like, oh no, this is the peeled. And I was like, oh, that's the. I mean, this is the uh, not peeled. But we have the oh. same order. Yours, which well, is yeah. I mean, when I'm at Blazer, I just. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm there, bro. I love it. <clears throat> they didn't have mango. I think there. one place that, that, yeah, that I wouldn't, me I off. wouldn't go to with, pissed to the off. movie theaters is Rex and Carlos. <laughs> oh yeah, the worst people to go, and Randy. <laughs> oh my god, Randy. Imagine all three Rex of them. Oh, my and god. Carlos. <laughs> oh my, you never want to. You never want to go with them. That's because when you go to the movies with me, I'm a fuck with you. Like I'm enjoying the movie, but this I'm is, also like, yeah. I'm gonna like, tell you, this is Rex. You, you just kind of just. Nothing has to do with the movie. Are you having fun? Do you like the movie? And you like your food? Like I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Shut up. And then Carlos, <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? Hold, hold. What do you say? Why is he doing Why that? Why is he doing that? <laughs> and then Randy, this is Randy. He's like, no, technically that's not right. Oh, he's like, <laughs> that movie's boring, huh? That movie's boring, huh? Fuck. That's so true. He's like so. He wants to go smoke a joint. Yeah, yeah that's so it. true. When he go see a movie, but with this fool, I'm telling you, like he'll he'll be like, <laughs> oh, bro, shake you. He'll like shake we we're watching Spider Man No Way Home, and you know how like that crazy part where where you know they all they all jump in there, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And the whole fucking theater started going crazy. They started. They got up and started chanting. You know what the fuck I did? Huh. I just, I was choking Hans like because I was behind him. I started choking that fool like. <laughs> Guys, you know how I was so like happy. He didn't even know what the fuck was going bro, on. Bro, le- I'm a fucking Marvel <laughs> fan and a DC fan. I'm a fucking geek when it comes to this shit, right? 
And I imagine like you, like that fucking scene when they came out. I was so excited, and this was just <sighs> the only reason why I didn't find out he was doing that because I was excited. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I could have smacked them, and this would like he did not hit him. So bro. yeah, that's why I never, never, ever yeah. again with these three foods never go. Hey, but Carlos though, he falls asleep. Like, oh yeah, oh my god, yeah. If you don't talk to him, which is a movie, you're not supposed to be fucking talking in the first place. <laughs> yeah, he would be like, and he would go, hey, what happened? What happened? What happened? Food? What happened? <laughs> Tell me, what? <laughs> Tell me, fool, I fell asleep. I know, and then, and then sometimes he wants something from the from me, and he's like, "Hey, should I get popcorn?" Like he asks you that five times. Hey, should I go? Like, should I go? Hey, you think, you I think it's go? late? <laughs> like, food, just go. Like, nah, 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 I'm not gonna go. Like, why you ask me? Like, hey, yo, you want to go get it for me? I'm like, why don't you want to go? It's because like, oh, I don't want to make everyone like you know stand up. Like, food, just go get it. I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> that sounds like him. And then Saul, so, like, hey, you want to make a TikTok? Saul so, wants to make TikTok. That's what I do. It's right here. Because I already felt it. <laughs> it was coming. I felt yeah, it. Yeah. You know, oh, fuck, fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Go hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> fuck my story, man. No, I liked it. I was waiting. I was. No, hurry up. I He's like a little kid. Like <laughs> no. I, I like your story, but you know we gotta get. Because I need to pee, babe. For us, show you really pulled it out. Can I pee now? Go pee. Go yeah, pee. Go, small go, bladder, go, bitch. Go. 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 All right. Now it's time to shout out our friends at Patreon. If you guys don't know what a Patreon is, it's another website where we give you guys more exclusive content. And if you subscribe now, you get entered to the uh, giveaway, $400 giveaway. Winner will be announced next week. So go check that out. People are always asking, what is Patreon? What, what is like, what's, what is it? Who asking that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bad. I'm Patreon, not bad. it's what it looks like. It's just another website. Literally, we just post more. We, we posting on there. We post another episode. So uh, it's pretty cool. You really got you really got the picture of you guys choking me. You never seen it before. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Look, that shit's dope as fuck. Look, that's crazy work. And look, yeah, that shit's hard. Well, I look like I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go follow us on Patreon, guys. Straight to God, uh, ringing it. I was gonna make a joke, but yeah, follow us. Giveaway. Giveaway. We're all going to put on our quarters, go to exchange them, and do that 400 giveaway. Yeah. And now it's time to shout out our friends. So we're going to start off with our booty collars. Hey, you know, let me, let me, come here. Let me, you don't know how to read, let me, bro. Let me do it. All right. Let I, me do I, it. I apologize and, in and advance. Now this time, Saul's going to do the... Okay. First caller, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> we got El, Am El Mero Mero Caesar. El Mero Mero Cesar. Cesar. We got Raymond Va Viares. Raymond. Shout out, Raymond. We got Ellie Garcia. Garcia. We got Jasmine Torres. Jasmine. We got that kid, Eric. That kid, Eric. Eric. We got Ki Kiki. Do you, you love me? me? Are you riding? We got Ashley Astran. Astran. We got Lily Gonzalez. You see, Lily. I can read, motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got Angel El, Sa El Sabor Cruz. El Salvador. El Salvador Cruz. Yeah, it's my bad. Mm -hmm. I'm on no sabo. Mm -hmm. We got That's the Best. That's the Best. We got Carla Corazon. Carla Corazon. Oh, she's from Salvador. That's Salvador. crazy. She's a, a salvadoreña. Andy Nola. Nola. We got Steffi Guevara. Guevara. We got Valerie Garcia. Garcia. I think say Valerie K. That's how horny she, oh, he yeah. is. You hear Valerie? Fuck yeah. We got Evelyn Martino. Martino. That's crazy. Her last name is a hammer. <laughs> like, but not just a hammer. A fucking Martino. <laughs> <laughs> So big ass hammer. We got Jessica Flores. Hell yeah, beautiful. Your favorite margarita shot to you guys. Your margarita. Hey. Robert Tuhuchi. Tuhuchi. We got Adan Alvarado. Alvarado. You know? No, I just remember the names. Oh. Sometimes I feel like you know him. Like, you know him personally. We got the crazy guy, Juan Seven Finger Banana Peeler. And Stanislao. So I remember you guys. And we got last one in those vamos. Last one in those vamos. Shout out to you guys. Straight up, like repping the, repping the SB, you know, out there. Oh, my Hans, God. what the fuck? Like, Dude, I'm giving you a shout starts. out to last one in those vamos and you do it. I didn't Bro. know you were doing it. I'm just, I just got a fart. I'm not holding it in. Alexia what? Tovar. We got Alexia Tovar. Alexia, what's up, we Alexia? Got Marie. Marie. Maria. 
Hey, she got her dog in this. That's just sad. Look, she got a cute. Oh hell dog. yeah, I want to see. Let's see what kind of dog. Like he wants to get his iPad. Like, I don't know. He just zooming into her picture, huh? Yeah, I know. Yeah, dog, a dog. It's a cool dog. It's a cute you dog. Hey, put that? your Yorkie? dogs in the profile picture. It's a Yorkie, huh? Yeah. See, 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 see. And look, she got a Yorkie. Put the cool Yorkie. Oh, it is a Yorkie. We got Leslie Mendoza. Mendoza. Leslie, what's oh, up? We got they know Yair. What they know the Yair. Yair. You're not a real. You got a. They know Yair. He got a kid smoking right there. We got a hey, shout out to Rated oh, Razor, Razor Ramon, Ramon Hedges, Hedges Flores. Flores. That's a sick bow, ass bow, photo, bro. Mur, mur, oh, yeah, mur. Yeah. Bro, we invite us out there. Jonathan. Jonathan. Hey, we got the 50 smartphone kind of guy. We, we got to we gotta give him a head one day, you know? Someone. Alvaro, uh, Alvaro, Alvaro Benitez. Benitez. Yo, yo, yo. You, you don't know how to read. You're trying to play it off. Right? You're not slick. <laughs> You see that? He's like, ah, and ah, we got ah. we got Saul's arch nemesis, Who? Kike Ilanovia. Kike, <laughs> he got a photo of him walking in the woods. That's nemesis? some Michigan shit right there. Kike, <laughs> Kike, Kike. that fool DM me yesterday. He said that he 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 she tried to get out a girl, but he flopped. He said he needs my help. We're not through. We're not through. whole ass makeover on this fool. Dead ass. No, bro, bro, bro. I cut. swear, like when Kike comes out here, Kike don't even come with the haircut. No, don't come with a haircut. And I'm going to tell you, the first thing that's coming off is that stupid ass hair you have. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's crazy. I love you, bro. That's crazy. Nah. I, I hate your hair. Let me see. Nah, nah. Mm. Kike is a good looking man. No, he's a good looking. I'm not saying nah, he, he, oh, I don't like his hair. I don't why, why, why? He dyed it? He, that's crazy. You have highlights, fool. <laughs> what the fuck is that, Kike? I'm trying to help you. You want me to help you? I'm helping that you. That fool said you, you, you looking crazy. You're, you got to, that's the first thing that's got to go. You're chopping that shit off. I don't care. Well, you know who also got her, her uh, there, I mean, hair dye? Who? It's Sandra Gonzalez. Look, she got Sandra. Pink Sandra Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Hey, I like your hair. Um, What is it? Orange? Pink? I can't see from here, bud. I don't know. I feel like when Latinos dye their hair, like, it's, it's kind of out there, you know? Mm, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, yeah, you know, Carol that's, G. That's, yeah, that's some shit that we don't really do. Kiki, <laughs> I love how Kike has a whole. Uh, he's got a highlight of all the times we shouted him out. That's dope as <laughs> that's fuck. That's it. Hey, I don't know if you want to highlight this part. <laughs> no, Kike, st- I'm standing on business. You want me to help you? Not just me. <laughs> us? I love to be Kike. honest, Kike. When you come, we're going. I'm gonna help gonna, you. We're gonna get you a haircut. We're gonna take you to the mall, and they'll get you. And late. we're gonna get you on a blind date. And I'm gonna get him. We're gonna get him a nice fade. You the get best late? barber in the eye, huh? We're gonna get, get them late. You're gonna take it to paradise. Trust, Kike, trust me, bro. Get your mango cart. I know it sounds right. mean, but trust. Next one we got is Karencita. Ooh, Karen, I love your dog. Love hopefully, um, hopefully, you can give me a free dog one day. I Why are you, you broke or what? You can't afford a dog. Always begging. Always begging for shit, bro. You know, some girl put that we we beg, it gives her the ick that we beg for a Patreon or some shit. Yeah. Shit was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Next one we got Georgina Nunez. Georgina Nunez. Georgina. Yeah. San Diego like baddie. Like What's cool up, girl? Georgina? How you doing? And we got Oscar Martinez. Martinez. Oscar, what's up, Oscar? And we got another another Latina. She dyed her hair pink. Breezy Huera Loquita. She's not Latina. She likes Takis for breakfast. Oh, what? Breezy Huera Loquita. She's Huera. Oh, she is Huera. Oh, but she's shit. a Loquita. Oh shit! So she's not Latina. No. Oh, she's white. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's the yeah she she smash. She's gentrifying the fucking Latinas. You gonna smash her? No. What? Smash. Smash. You know who says smash? So, yeah, I'm gonna say smash her pass. Now I'm gonna go on Saul's history. Is that See it? what kind of porn he watches on the iPad? Yeah, I don't <laughs> watch porn on the iPad. <laughs> Can you imagine? I will. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to us on Patreon. Love you all. We're about to go film the next Patreon right now. So uh, we'll see you guys there. But make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on every social media platform. That's how we go. Follow me at Rex B. Uh, book me to be your DJ this year if you guys want to. If you guys want me. If you guys need me. If you guys care about me. And then now uh, my cash app is uh, Rexy Poo. Cash app me five bucks. I right, Hans, what's yours? The homies, you know? Some drinks. My what? What's your IG? This, my, dude, this, dude's, got a, this dude's got a cup out. He's got a cup out. He's like, give yeah. me some money. Give Can you some more money. sugar, please? More sugar. May I have some more? May I have some more sugar. My stop, man. You follow me on Instagram, Hans underscore Esquivel. What's up? What it do? What it what it is? What it be? Um, yeah. I hope you guys have a lovely day. What's your cheese spot? I don't have a cheese spot, but uh, yeah. That's a small ass feet, bro. I just noticed them right now. I just kind of. You want to see this dick though? You want to see this dick though? Watch him. Go match this. Go match this. That's all he talks Let's about. Go. Let's go talking all that shit. Cheese. I got the blackest dick here. <laughs> The fuck is about? Alright, guys, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.